What the hell? How's it not broken? Honestly, this egg deserves to live after that. You ever make ice cream and it just totally sucks? It's just not the same. It's because you're not doing it the right way. And so that's why I'm here, I think. I hope so. Okay, thank, thank you. Consider this more of like an ice cream guide as a whole. I'm choosing coffee ice cream to be the recipe that we use today for two reasons. A, it's stupid easy. The second reason is because coffee. And then the extra reason that I'm gonna add onto that is there's actually a lot of variation of flavor that you can toss in there depending on what kind of coffee you use, the origin, the roast level, all the different things that come into play to making coffee ice cream feels like there's something on my face. So let's do this, shall we? After this message from our sponsor. Hey, you like coffee, right? No. Not the crap stuff. I'm talking about that good stuff. And that's why today's video is sponsored by Trade Coffee. So boom, you take a quiz, you tell your boys how you like your coffee, and they'll give you your coffee match made in heaven, deliver it right to your door. Oh, and did I mention that they'll give it to you? whenever you want. Then you just sit back and enjoy as many different tailored coffees as your heart can physically desire. The first 100 people to go click the link below in my description will get 30% off their first bag from Trade Coffee. Don't thank me. Thank you. Okay, so the coffee we're working with is gonna be more of like a chocolatey brown sugar note sort of flavor profile. We can use any one that you want. Start off by measuring one and three quarters of a cup or 150 grams of coffee beans. I would leave pretty much mostly all of them whole. You can crush a couple here and there, but it's better for them to be whole. To medium sized pot, add two cups or 470 milliliters of whole milk and one cup or 235 milliliters of heavy cream, one cup or 220 grams of granulated sugar and a small pinch of salt. To that, you're gonna add your coffee beans, but I just wanna say that this is a base for just about any basic ice cream flavor. You wanna do vanilla, vanilla extract. You see what I'm saying? You can replace the beans with other flavors. Now place it on the stove on medium heat and just get that brother real nice and hot and steamy, okay? No boiling, but very, very hot. Cover it with a lid and let it steep for about 45 minutes. Now when that's almost done steaming, get a large bowl filled with ice and then fill it up with water. So now you get an ice bath and then place a smaller bowl into that ice bath. To the ice bath, add another cup or 235 milliliters of heavy cream. Place that bad boy to the side. Okay, so now your coffee mixture is steeped. It's probably cooled down a little bit, so heat it back up so it's steamy and hot but not boiling, and separate out six egg yolks. Place those egg yolks into a medium-sized bowl. Once that mixture is steamy and hot again, just ladle a tiny little bit into your egg yolks, mix them together, tiny little more, mix them together, and you're just tempering the eggs to get them nice and warm. Then add that mixture back to your warm coffee mixture. And just like our eggnog video, you're gonna gently heat that, don't boil it, don't let it go over 170 Fahrenheit, and maintain that at a steamy heat, stirring constantly until it thickens like this. And when I say thick, I mean thick like not 27 C's, but maybe like 13 C's. Now pour your now custard through a fine mesh sieve into your ice bath where your cream is. So you've got that cream mixed with the custard and then just cool that down until completely cold. That's pretty much it. Now we just need to churn it. Yeah, I do be really tired of freezing the base of a stupid ice cream maker. So ah, we got one with a compressor, okay? I am running out of space in my kitchen. It's actually really bad. But also not that bad. Ah! This is a big ice cream energy. Add your ice cream base to whatever ice cream machine you have. This one is great. I'm really glad that I got this, to be honest with you. I know it's a big, you know how I am with the whole being extra, but turn it to the manufacturer's directions. This one, you'd literally just pour it in there and it's literally makes it. You don't need to freeze the base because it freezes itself. If you want to know where I got this, I'll have the link below in the description. But once that's all churned and burned, but well, the opposite of burned, pour that into pine containers or, or an ice cream container like you see here. There'll be links for that too. And then place it in your freezer for a couple hours or overnight, and then it'll be ready to serve. Now, when you're serving this, uh, please use a regular ice cream scoop. Look, you can use the mechanical ones. They're not that, it's not that big of a deal, but like if you learn how to scoop proper ice cream like this, it's just so gratifying. You scrape all the way down and then notice how I'm like turning my wrist to sort of like get that ball shape and plop it in your bowl and enjoy. Now we can totally stop here. That looks scrum diddly umptious. But we could also take some beautiful hand scooped perfect balls, put them in a cup with another set of espresso beans, grind that, put it on your espresso machine, extract two beautiful gorgeous shots, and then pour that hot voluptuous, yes, I'm gonna use that word, 
espresso directly on top of your ice cold ice cream. So you got some melty root beer float, but with a whole lot of caffeine. It's a very nice thing. Hmm. Ridiculously smooth, okay? I don't even know if you can tell. I mean, my God, look at that. By making a proper custard, you don't need any freaking stabilizers or gums. I'm sick and tired of people not knowing how to properly scoop ice cream. Show some respect. Ugh. Mathematically a perfect spear, and I'm not very good at math. <laughs> that sounds funny. Um, the attention to detail, the finesse, the love for the ice cream tells me this bite of ice cream, this creamy concoction is probably going to be delicious. And I, for one, am now excited. And that's how I feel about the shape of ice cream. But do you wanna know what else I feel passionately about the shape of? Beer. Hey, don't you forget about that trade coffee deal we got going on, all right? Go down there, click that link. Get that, get that bag of, of coffee. Yeah. All right, guys, and that is it. So, coffee ice cream is the perfect ice cream, all right? Period, end of story. It is my favorite ice cream of all time. It never under delivers unless someone messes it up. There's so many things added to ice cream to make it like texturally good, but if you just make a really nice, beautiful, luscious custard, and you, you know, properly apply your technique, you will have an incredible ice cream regardless of any of those variables. Beautiful base, beautiful finishing product. Make sense? Same thing in all things in life, in cooking. I hope this is inspirational. Inspiration, throwing it your way. But with all that said, if you enjoyed this video or you learned something, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Very grateful for you, love you, kiss you. <sighs> see you later.